good morning and welcome to Great News WCDS Episode 7. We are finally starting to feel some of those cold fall days, so before I freeze, let ice melt right into the news with... Preschool. Hey Preschool, make like a tree and leaf. <laughs> with the autumnal trees doing their thing, Preschool took that phrase literally last week, finding a nice pile of leaves and playing in it. Uh, come to think of it, I haven't seen Clara since last week. Hmm. Hmm. In junior kindergarten, I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. <clears throat> JK is all about learning how things move through space. If you've ever read Edgar Allan Poe's The Pit and the Pendulum, you should know that as far as I know, the pendulum in JK is nothing like in the story, has nothing to do with the story, and forget I even mentioned it. JK used their homemade pendulum to spread out sand art, much to the delight of the kids. They also learned about balloons in flight, made a ball run, and also did salad spinner art. Well, that explains why my last salad tasted like a Jackson Pollock. For senior kindergarten, I'm going to turn it over to a simply wonderful reporter who is out in the field and brings us this amazing report. I heard a new restaurant opened in senior kindergarten. Let's go check it out. Coming in for my 120 reservation. Hello. I'm here for my 120 reservation for Mr. Hill. Table of one. Okay. Do you have my table ready? Okay. So far, so good. It smells really nice in here. The, the, the aroma of hamburgers permeates the nose. I'm ready to be taken to my seat. All right. This looks great. So I get a seat by the window. Here's our menu. We got entrees, apps, specials. And I'll be waited on today by Mr. Jackson here. This is my server here. All the money? The restaurant is also giving me all the money in the till. Okay, guys, I got every. That's a nice feature. You know, you know, real workers have to have their own order. I didn't know. I'm gonna take a peek in the kitchen. So here's the kitchen. Looks good. Here's my order. So here's my review so far. The burger is well put together. Very good portion size. Fresh hand cut fries. And a chocolate and peanut butter buckeye for dessert. And my water. Final thoughts on Safe Garden Restaurant. The atmosphere was pleasant. The service was impeccable. The food was delicious. The prices were reasonable. Overall, five out of five stars. Thank you, Alex. Simply stunning reporting. Thank you for that. Good job, Safe Garden Restaurant. In first grade, first grade has decided that they've had enough of Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin Pink King, and have imprisoned him in a jar in the classroom until next Halloween. First grade also had their own mock elections between Farmer Brown and a duck. Spoiler alert, duck won by a landslide, so I hope you, enjoys, I hope you enjoy cheese and quackers every day for lunch. In second grade, let's talk turkey second grade. Second grade has been diving into all things turkey, even the gravy. They shared silly stories, talking gratitude, and even wrote a story about a turkey trying to dodge Thanksgiving. Good luck. Also, Cece gave a demonstration on how you tie two pairs of pants together to make a pair of four-legged pants, essential for any centaurs you may know. In third grade, move over. Third grade's adopted calf peony won cutest calf contest, beating every other calf, including mine. In drama, third grade presented their Reader's Theater puppet show. 
much to the delight of the rest of the class. Also, Silas displays just how much money there is to be found under a single couch cushion. Fourth grade. The results are in for the most important election that took place last week. I'm talking, of course, about the lunch vote. And if you didn't hear, the winner is... Taco in a bag. All the groups presented their lunch candidates at school at a school-wide town hall and fielded questions from the audience. Then the whole school voted, and what is clearly a violation of voter privacy, they took pictures in the voting booth. Mm, that's a no-no. In fifth grade, in a shocking development, it turns out that one lunch choice did not make it onto the ballots in time. I'm sad to say that I didn't get a chance to vote for a crawdad boil. Maybe next year. Nonetheless, fifth grade asked great questions at the fourth grade town hall. Also, Connor B. put his nonverbal skills to the test to let everyone know exactly what he thinks of himself. Way to be, Connor B. In middle school, hooray for Clay! The Clay Center for the Arts and Sciences, to be exact. The whole middle school t took a trip down to West Virginia's capital, Charleston, to enjoy a day of fun learning. Any kids who couldn't behave during the trip were sentenced to the net of doom. Also, 7th and 8th grade had their science behind cycling exhibition, and it was a great success. No one was too tired to tread around the wheel of the exhibition, and everyone left feeling bike-sighted. Bike-sighted. This week, I'm debuting a brand new segment called... <laughs> Here's a joke. Today's joke comes to us from Theron Bishop in second grade. Hello, my name is Theron, and I, um, I'm in second grade, and I got a joke for you. Um, what do you call, what does a chicken ride in in space? A flying pan. Get it? <laughs> Thanks, Theron. If you have a joke you want to tell, let your teachers know and they can reach out to me. And with that, we've reached our... <laughs> Reminder, Kind Kid shout-out goes out to all those kids who are going above and beyond to be as kind as they can, as helpful as they can, and to be great friends. This week comes to us, we have... From fourth grade, Ethan read, and Miss Bridget Rutherford said, I heard Ethan give a fellow classmate some genuine compliments about his help during a presentation. He was giving out positive vibes to make a friend feel better. Good job, Ethan. We also have, <clears throat> from first grade, Miles Hersey and Kyson Helmick. And Miss Lori Buchanan says, Every day, Miles and Kyson are the biggest and best gentlemen as we travel to our lessons. They open doors, wait patiently, and Miles is always quick to get quiet and focus on our lesson. I'm so proud of these two terrific kind kids. Way to go, boys. And from fifth grade, Ciro Swan. And Katie says, Ciro for president. There you go. Remember, a little kindness goes a long way. And for our words of wisdom this week, they come to us from none other than Eleanor Roosevelt. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. That's why we call it the present. And in a... Uh, I would like to offer my sincerest apologies to Griffin Huff, who I failed to add to the talent show. To, so to make up for it, here's his video. Hold 
Good job, Griffin. Watch out for that floor. It is made of lava. Well, that wraps up, wraps up another episode of Great News WCDS. Have a great weekend. Be safe, and we will see you on Monday.